Welcome to a beautiful day here down in South Florida. We are gonna be trying to do something that I've never done before. So we are actually staying on uh, this lake right now. Not like on it, but there's an RV park right over there. You can probably see our campers right over there. And there's this big body of water. I did not realize what was inside this body of water. I wasn't even planning on fishing this at all. Mostly it was just kind of down here for the saltwater stuff. But this is the, an opportunity that I just cannot pass up. Okay, so here is what's going on. There's alligators in these bodies of water. You gotta just watch out, I guess, for those. But we stopped at a tackle shop. It was like a very interesting, I guess like a tackle shop slash mart type of thing. We got some bait here. These are some shiners. Dude, these were for two dozen. 25 freaking dollars for some shiners. And I looked in here and a couple of them, like, what is this? Oh, get him out of there, I guess. That dude is not looking. Yep, uh, a little under two dozen shiners, but that should hopefully be good. We're just gonna drop it in the water. Let me see how warm this is. It's a little bit warmer, but hopefully these dudes can just kind of chill down there and get oxygenated and they don't all croak. Wait, all right, let's get in here. We've got some lures too, but I just think our best chance is just to like figure out what is going on here. You know, it never hurts to have some shiners, some live bait. Yet again, what else is new here? Every time we, I feel like, go fishing and drop the kayak, or even just fishing recently, it has been super, super windy, and today it is also supposed to be windy. It's all good, man, we've dealt with it before. Let me just put these dudes back here for a sec. First thing, as always, when I get into the kayak, keys go in there and the phone. And we are off. Whew. Squeaky, hello? The heck? All right, so hey, first date, like, why are you fishing this lake that you weren't even gonna fish? Well, that's a good question, man. So this is actually connected to Lake Ida, which I don't know if you, you guys are familiar with or not, but it is a lake that has a lot of different stuff in it. And it's kind of the same thing here. We're talking about largemouth bass, obviously. Peacock bass, which I didn't even realize. <laughs> Kelsey's waving at me from the camper. There's a camper right over there. Whoa, it's starting to rain, dude. What the heck? What the heck? It's literally raining. There's, there's like two clouds in the sky. That's some Florida crap right there. Largemouth, peacock, a bunch of other stuff, but a fish that I personally have never caught before and one that I would absolutely love to catch is the freaking clown knife fish. Super insane looking to alien fish species. It'd be really, 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 really cool to hook into one of those. But as always, I'm just down to catch whatever is to be caught if hopefully that is anything i don't really know i don't know if i said it or not but it is a very 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 toasty day out here today you're talking about like in the 80s sun beaming a little sprinkling never hurt nobody right so we're just gonna go through the mouth all we're doing man i just have a little hook on here i'm gonna try throwing it right over here because i just saw something splash but mainly we are going to be focusing on structure that is like docks, um, trees, rocks, just any kind of structure that uh, looks like a fish would be hiding out on it. I was gonna be throwing the baitcaster too, but I think we're just throwing this dude weightless. It's just best right now to kind of chucker on a spinning rod where we could just get a little bit more chuck in the chuck, you know what I'm saying? There are a couple other people fishing out here too. All I know is that I don't really know <laughs> We're just gonna be figuring everything out together. What the heck? This is pretty cool. Right here, there's a, a buoy. Literally says fish structure. Or fish attractor. <laughs> what the heck? That guy's cleaning his RV right there. It's like power washing the top. 
I probably need to do that to ours. All right, well, see if there's any fish by the fish attractor. I wonder what exactly the fish attractor is. So far we fished like all sides of it. And so far these freaking shiners, <laughs> they are very sensitive little dudes. They uh, last like two casts. I don't know if it's the place I got them or if that's just, I don't know. So that's the thing. Okay. That dude's in a hurry to get somewhere. Holy. All right. Let's hit this cove right there. See if anybody's chilling out. We'll hit this little point. Now we're just gonna keep going. I've been fishing the grassy stuff. I think we need to focus more on a little harder structure. Again, this is always the hardest part, is just figuring out where they could be. One thing I do keep seeing as I'm paddling is just like random splashes that looks like fish. I don't know if it's bay fish. I don't know if it's some kind of shad. I've heard the clown knife fish kind of do like this thing where they come up and they roll on the surface. I don't know if that's what it is. I don't really know how many of them are in here either. Oh, can you imagine catching one of those, dude? Look at all these coconuts. All right, so pull off to the side here off the main lake. I don't know the gator situation here. This looks a little suspicious, but this looks like some nice structure. There's a nice bridge. There's a juicy looking tunnel. Overall, it just looks intriguing. Let's just send a minnow or a shiner. Send it out right there. There we go. There we go. First fish of the day. Let's go. I didn't even feel him bite, dude. These jet skiers are getting a little close here. All right, well, first fish of the day. Boom, beautiful little peacock. Smacked the shiner. All right. Oh, these guys literally have the whole lake that they're doing donuts right in front of me. All right, thank you, buddy. I think the heart structure is going to be where we got to focus on. Now we got all these waves coming at us. All right, on the shiner. Let's get another one over here near this dock. This looks pretty good. Again, nothing like that first one, you know. Nothing of size or anything. First fish of the day, though, we will take it. Our shiners are not doing too well, though, I will say. Unfortunately, they are kind of mostly all croaking. We're trying to give them water and like have them in and stuff, but I don't know. I'm gonna have to switch to artificial here soon. Dude, why does it look like it's about to storm actually? 
we will have to monitor that situation. Hello, anybody here? Whoa, did you see that? Mm -mm -mm. All right, so we might have just been fishing the wrong spots. I just hope we got enough bait to catch something cool. I'm sure that the, uh, I think the peacocks will eat the artificial if you start throwing it. I just don't know about the clowns, man. All right. We're gonna keep paddling this way a little bit. I think the storm's supposed to go not this way. You never really know though. These houses are nice though, huh? I mate. Oh no. Where am I? Where am I? Wait, what is that? Whew. Okay. All right, y'all. Second fish of the day. Second species of the day. I was not expecting these guys. I mean, I guess it makes sense. They're in here. Super crazy looking dude right here, man. Wow, he looks like he's been through some stuff. He's seen some things. All right, there we go. Second fish, second species of the day. I believe that is a cichlid. I think it's a Mayan cichlid, actually. And we are about to get our face in some spiders. Hello. Heck, oh, dude, there's iguanas up there. All right. Oh, dude, giant iguana over there. Whew. Again, we don't have many. Let's actually check our count here. Oh, yeah. oh, it's heavy. We're running a little low here on minners. Actually, very, very low. We just have a few small, small, small ones in here. We'll throw them. Look at that. Do you see that iguana is climbing the tree? This freaking animal planet. Hello? Can I just, just do that real quick? Come here, little dudes. 
It might be too small to be honest to even go on a hook. Let's see. Okay. Well, we might be switching over to artificial sooner than anticipated. That's just one of the cool things about South Florida. You never know what the heck could be in the water. Salt water or fresh water. I mean, it's not uncommon for people around this area to like release pets and like crazy exotic fish just wind up in waterways. And it's, it's not good, I don't think, but it's kind of cool if you're fishing. Let's see if anybody wants this little dude. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what the heck? All right, so I was just sitting there with one of those tiny freaking minnows in the water. I think we're gonna switch it up here. I think I have one more actual minnow I could throw on. It's not even a shiner anymore, they're little minnows. That's so freaking sick though, man. Just to be able to come out here and catch these fish. Again, nothing huge so far, but just look at the, the that is a really, Awesome looking fish, thank you buddy. Dude, literally so tiny. I don't know if this is gonna get better or not. Oh, that's, guys, look at dark, dude. Oh, is that coming my way? It looks like it's literally coming right at me, doesn't it? All right, the minnow just came off. Frick. All right, well, we're just gonna hope that this isn't coming our way. I called Kelsey to kind of get the details on where it looks like it's headed, this storm, but I just, I don't know. reckon these Florida things are pretty unpredictable. It looks like, like this was not over me a second ago though. We paddled out pretty far too. But you know what they say, I guess. Uh, fish are supposed to bite better in storms. But I think this, if there's some bigger fish around, dude, I saw something jumping over here a second ago too. It's kind of got me a little, a little worried though, not gonna lie. Okay, so I uh, I just learned a big lesson here. Forgot we're in Florida. I, I called Kelsey when I was on the kayak and I was like, hey, like, what does the radar look like? Does it look like the rain's gonna come this way? She's like, I don't know. I guess it wasn't supposed to, but then it did. And now we are completely drenched. I had to emergency land the kayak. The shoes went completely under. Just everything is wet. And she came over and I just loaded it up and everything. I had to pull it real far. So I launched way over there and then we landed it way over in the middle of somewhere and she, she met me. She kind of saved me a little bit because I didn't want my GoPro stuff getting too wet. Holy crap, man. I learned a lesson though. If rain looks like it is coming, good chance it might. All right, so I'm editing up this video now, but I just want to say, freaking Florida, man. Let me set the scene. So you guys saw the clouds coming closer. They were, they were you know, getting bigger. Then everything started to turn dark. And then, you know, it, it, I started hearing the thunder and you saw lightning everywhere, and I, I was pretty far away from where we launched. Again, as I said, we kind of like emergency landed the kayak somewhere, and Kelsey picked us up, but legitimately, I saw in the distance. Like, you know when you see the rain coming? Like, the hazy cloud, like, you just know it looks like thick freaking rain. Dude, I saw that in the distance, and it kept coming closer. I was paddling as fast as I could. There was one other person, one boat out there. He turns around. Pshew! He was going away from it. I was going into it back to where, dude... It's just a mess. That's like a nightmare, honestly. Especially, like, imagine if we were out there on the ocean or something. I gotta be more careful. Or a bigger lake. Anyways, not the craziest 
day of fishing we caught some cool exotic fish for this area which is really cool i wasn't expecting to do that as i said but i i really want to come back here hopefully this year and try to catch a clown knife fish that's one of my bucket list fish and i just think it'd be cool to catch it like by myself unguided because i feel like every video i've seen of people catching them there's always like a guide or somebody telling them how to do it I want to figure it out and I want to do it myself. That's one of my goals. So let me know if you guys want to see that. If you guys hit the thumbs up button, it would mean a lot. All I got to say, man, we got some really cool stuff coming out. Just wait, just wait, man. Saw our stuff. Stay tuned. Thank you guys for all the support. Let's keep this rolling. Thank you guys for watching. See you, you next video. Know just well.